sequencing the record was easy once um, once I had all the songs chosen. The hardest thing was trying to pair, you know, eight plus records, nine records into 22, 24 tracks. You have to start with something, you know, accessible, and then you can get into something more moody, and then you have to, but uh, it was rewarding to be able to, to, have, to think of it as four sides of an LP, which is maybe good because then somebody could buy it who, who might listen to the, this best of, and then there's more to discover, for them to discover. Well, I started writing songs when I was maybe 15, and they were just terrible songs, and I was just trying to write like somebody else, and, and um, the best way to, to keep songwriting evolving is to, is to choose different methods. A lot of the early X stuff I wrote on bass guitar, which left a lot of room for Billy Zoom to, to make guitar parts for the songs and sometimes to find whether it was major or minor or, or, or things like that in the chords. And, uh, but it was all music and lyrics were separate and I just sort of mix and match until they seemed to fit together. And melody kind of came third in the process. Uh, developed the melody through that and then later on I started relying more on melody but I always would have the words written prior to it. So it was like figuring out the melody through the words and re more recently, I just, which is, I guess, something that people, everybody does, is they just start playing some chords and then just singing nonsense words, and then it begins to make sense. And sometimes that can, I've, I've had a couple of uh, lucky or uh, fortunate uh, results from that, where it just, you start singing one thing and it, it makes this whole story and scene blossom. The core stuff doesn't change that much. Usually the inspiration is about 15 seconds long or maybe five seconds long. <clears throat> you just see a picture and the picture has got a backstory and a future.